No, Chuck's ease. The exact opposite. So, great question, but the exact opposite. So question is, Mike, should we be concerned about the end of the year, seeing that investors usually start taking profit due to taxes? It's actually the exact opposite. Investors do not want to take profit going into the end of the year because they don't want to have to realize the gain to pay the tax. So if you sell a position in December that you bought this year and you are up 40% on that position, well, guess what? When the tax man comes through in April of next year, you got to pay taxes on that gain. But if you hold that position into January and then you take profit in January, you don't owe that tax. <laughs> you don't owe that until the following year. It's your it, that would be taxable income from that would be a taxable gain on your income or your gain realized from 2024. You will not see. You usually don't see people take profits in December. What you do see in December is people tax loss harvest. What that means is they sell positions they're down money on. So if you're down money on a position, you sell it. So you can use that loss. Let's say if you're a hedge fund manager and you have a $100 million taxable gain for the year, but you've got a couple of positions where maybe you're down a total of, of $9 million. You're going to sell those nine those positions and realize the $9 million loss. So now your taxable gain for the year is not $100 million, It's $91 million. Now, that only works if you have a gain, a net gain. If you're down money, you can't write off all of the loss. You can only write off up to $3,000 of, of a loss. So that only works if you have a net gain on the year. So if you guys are up 50 grand in your trading account for the year and you're holding on to a couple of positions that you're down money, you sell them before the year is over. And this way you're 50, let's say you, you have $8,000 in losses on positions, bags you're holding, sell them before the year is over. And now that 8,000 gets subtracted from your $50,000 net gain. And now you don't pay taxes on 50 grand. You pay taxes on 42 grand. But again, that only works if you have a net gain. If you have a net loss, that doesn't work. You can only write off up to $3,000.